Xana Shot X here from NTP, and I'm back again with another custom statue tutorial. Today, uh, we have Sachi, another character from Sword Art Online. Uh, this is actually our second to last one, so after this one and one more, we'll be done with Sword Art Online for, like, good, unless we come out with more characters or you guys want us to make a certain character that we didn't make. Uh, but yes, this is Sachi. Sachi was actually a character that we decided to throw in. Uh, just randomly, uh, it, it, she isn't really a big part of the story, but she does have an effect on the character development of the main character. That's kind of the only reason why we threw in her. She's kind of a last minute, uh, <coughs> excuse me, she's kind of a last minute add-in. We didn't plan on really throwing her in here, uh, but we decided to go ahead and do it. Um, if you don't know, Sachi dies, it's really sad, and you never really forget about it through the rest of the whole uh, show the rest of the whole season. So it's kind of a big impact on the main character, um, her death. Um, plus, you know, it's kind of sad that she dies. So we went ahead and threw her in here. So, hooray, we have Sachi now. But, um, um, I really don't want to waste much time here. As I've done for the rest of these episodes, though, I will leave a link to a website that should have all the episodes and linking you to the first episode of Sword Art Online. So if you want to check out this show that we have made so many videos for so far, um, you can go and check it out. Uh, so, that's pretty much all as far as that goes. Let's go and jump into the tutorial part of this so this isn't a very long outro. We can just speed right through this. Alright. So, the dimensions. The legs are 8 by 4 by 12. The torso is 8 by 4 by 12. The arms, they are attached or aligned to the torso, and they're 4 by 4 by 12. And the head here is 8 by 8 by 8 with no hat effect at all, as you can see here, she is pretty, just, she's pretty standard, pretty easy. Um, not a whole lot of colors either, so let's go and jump into all this uh, detail. But first, as usual, I will have uh, pictures in the plastic texture back here on Xbox 360, so if you have any parts that are confusing you, or are just weird, um, should help you out if you're having any trouble with anything. Um, and... I don't think I mentioned, but those dimensions are linked by width by height and will be also be in the description. So, yeah, a lot of stuff in the description there. Yeah, so, let's go ahead and jump into the detail. Like I said, here is the front of the legs. Uh, fairly simple. In fact, a lot of her, she doesn't have a lot of detail on her. They, all of her colors just kind of stack up on top of one another, which makes her a pretty easy skin. Um, so, uh, as you can see here, the bottom of her feet, all black, there's a black, or there is a gray outline on top of that, there's about four layers of, uh, of skin, uh, which is birch wind planks, and then, uh, her skirt is, uh, blue, with, uh, it's got blue outlining, it's light blue mainly, and then inside there, she's kind of like a skirt inside that, it's kind of weird, <laughs> but, uh, that is lapis lazuli. If we come around here to the side, as you can see, these colors literally just wrap around, very, very easy. The black wraps around, the gray wraps around, so it's the blue and the light gray, and they even wrap around to the back. So these colors just kind of go all the way around her body. This is one of those really nice, easy skins to explain, because if, if you can see the colors, they just go all the way around the legs on both sides, and the front is the only thing that is just the slightest bit different. But I didn't take pictures of all these, so if that was too fast of a explanation, then... Um, Oh, app on my phone. 
And then, um, <laughs> sorry, I was looking at my phone for a second. And then, and then, you know, the, it'll still be there and then at the end if you have any trouble with it. So, but here's the front of it. This is probably the hardest part of outer. Um, the most detailed and, you know, just, just the hardest part in general. Um, starting off with probably the arms. Very, very, very simple. Just a few layers of white, then a layer of black, a couple layers of skin, which is birch wind planks, layer of blue, then light blue. It's just, that's it. Just stacking colors on top of one another. When we get skins like this, they don't have any, like, shape, or it's just, like, lines practically, like, straight lines. There's not a whole lot of, you know, just stuff going on. I mean, it's really, really, really simple. I, I like skins like these. But, uh, there, those are the arms. Starting with the torso now, the majority of it is light blue. She has a belt on, which is uh, black, got that gray in the middle. Also, black kind of holds up her uh, her chest armor, her chest piece, um, which is outlined with light gray, and the center of it is lapis lazuli as well. Um, she also has a little bit of a blue line going up the middle of her uh, shirt skirt as shirt skirt shirt skirt thing. I'm not really sure to call it as well. So that is that, and then as same thing for the arms as it was for the legs. These colors all just wrap around, which is just nice. It's very, very, very cool. Um, side of the arms and back are exactly the same as the front, so it's really just it's awesome. And then uh, the back is the only thing different here. It's just the back of her chest piece, which obviously, you know, just fits all the way around her. Um, that belt obviously comes back around from the front, which is black. The majority of it, again, is still light blue. And those straps that are holding up her chest piece are black. And the chest piece itself is outlined with light gray and has lapis lazuli in the center of it. So, very, very, very simple. Starting off now with her face. The skin is birchwood planks and the mouth is oakwood planks. The eyes are cyan with light blue on the bottom. And, you know, the other part is uh, white. And their hair is black. This is the only part that is a bit weird and you could probably change if you have stained clay which I probably will be changing this when we get stained clay. I think stained clay for blue. So blue stained clay. Is I think what her hair should be. Because her hair is also a kind of blue that the rest of her is, but it doesn't match any of these colors. Um, so her hair kind of needs to be a, a shade of blue that's not diamond, because diamond was the only color we had left. And it obviously doesn't match cyan or anything like that, so I think stained blue stained clay would be the recommendation for changing her hair. So if you have availability of that, which we don't obviously yet on Xbox, but when we, do, when we do, and you're watching this at that time, I don't know when, definitely change this to that. But, uh, yeah, right now it's just black. So, yeah, like I said, though, if you have uh, stained clay at your disposal, definitely use it here or tinker around with it um, because her hair is actually blue, so this isn't exact as the character is, so it's kind of frustrating. A lot of these that we make are very frustrating. We don't have the clay. But obviously here's the side. Black and uh, birch wind planks. Fairly simple here. But yeah, it's very, very, very frustrating when we don't have the colors for this. So the back, it's all one color. So it's black if, you know, you're on Xbox and making this in black. And it's uh, blue stained clay if you're making this using that. At least I think it's blue stained clay. I'd have to tinker around with it and see what, how the colors match up. Because I've never used stained clay before, so I, I could be totally wrong here. But, uh... Here's the other side. It's not the same as the other side, which it's... Or wait. Actually, I think it is. Hang on. Uh, no, it's not. It's just, like, one little difference. So it's not a huge difference, but it is different. Um, but, yeah, there's that side. Black and Bertrand Planks, obviously. And then the top is all black, um, or just all one color. So, it's very, very, very simple. In fact, this one is just... It's so fast to make her. Uh, lucky you got done with her before the sun, like, right as the sun started to set, if you couldn't tell from the time lapse when we were building this. And so, yeah, she's a pretty quick and easy skin just to crank out if you want to put out, if you want to, you know, just put this in with the rest of the skin. So, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. But, uh, that is it for this tutorial, everyone. That's it for Sachi. So, if you guys have any requests at all, definitely leave them in the comments. This could be more YouTubers or more custom skins. Uh, like I said, we're only going to have one more Sword Art Online one after this, so if you have any requests for more uh, custom skins from different shows or animes or anything, go, go ahead and leave them in the comments. We'll cipher through them and see what we can see what we can do. And uh, 
but well, also we do skin pack skins and mobs and stuff. So leave that in the comments. We'll cipher through everything. Just go through it all and see what you guys want us to make. And we'll figure out what we're going to make for you guys. So that is finally it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you for the next one.